Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Stitches and Scribbles channel. My name is Erin and today I wanted to start a new style of video for my channel and originally I had the idea to call this series One Day Makes because I wanted to pick some small projects that I could do kind of on a trial basis whether it was something I was doing for the first time or a simple knit or crochet project or craft with the idea that you can do it in one day because I know that there are a lot of people out there who make handmade gifts or are on a tight schedule for making things for craft fairs or events so I wanted to experiment with that idea and I wanted to start this week by making a birthday present for a very good friend however I did not realize how busy my schedule was going to be so even though this will probably not actually be a one day make meaning that I do the entire thing on one day um, I do think it's still a project that I can finish in the amount of time I would have spent on it if it was one day, if that makes sense. But you're going to see me probably in a couple different outfits to do this because it won't actually be all on one day. But we're still going to call it One Day Makes. My idea for this project, my friend first of all is going to be moving in the next couple months so I didn't want to get her something like big and bulky that she'd have to like pack and take back and forth. And I had found these little embroidery frames. I forget where I got them actually, but they're supposed to be for needle crafts. And my friend really likes to have lots of art on her wall and she's also really into Disney. So I think what I'm going to attempt to do today is create a Disney inspired piece of embroidery art. And I'm pretty sure I want to do the Disney castle design. Um, so I have a couple of different embroidery hoops. I'm probably going to trace the inside of the frame on my fabric and then put it in the hoop to work on it. I have this embroidery fabric that I got from, I'm pretty sure it was Michael's, and I have a ton of embroidery floss from my um, friendship bracelet making days. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right into this um, and we'll see how this goes. My initial plan is to like look on Pinterest for some inspiration, maybe find a outline of the Disney castle and trace it onto my fabric. So that's going to be our first couple of steps. Okay, so I wanted to give kind of a progress update because this is going a lot faster than I originally thought it was going to, which is kind of nice for the purposes of this video. I might actually finish today. We'll see. I don't want to make any promises. But this is what it looks like so far. Um, definitely not perfect, but I have never embroidered from my own drawing before. Also, I'm using a um, friction fine liner pen to sketch out my design um, because it disappears with heat. So you can run a hairdryer over it. I just held this on the radiator for a second and I don't know if you can even see the original on there but this was um, a circle where I started trying to draw the design and I messed up but you can see that like part of my original circle tracing has disappeared up there. So eventually the lines that I have on here will go away. Also some of the distortion in the lines is because of stretching the fabric onto the little frame because um, I did trace the back of the um, gold frame insert this piece to 
to make my shape. Um, it was not this wonky of a circle <laughs> when I drew it originally. So I'm just going to keep going. I laid out a gradient of blue and purple thread colors and just started with the lightest blue and I'm fading through them. So I have one more shade of dark blue and then I'm going to start going into the purple shades. Hello everyone, so it is obviously a new day because I have different clothes on, um, but I probably worked on this project for about two to three hours total yesterday, including drawing the design. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like now. I have gotten through all but three of the stripes on the Disney castle, so I have three more shades of purple to work through today, and then I will use... A hair dryer or something heated to remove the marks on the cloth. So I'm just gonna dive right back in with my next strand of color. By the way I am splitting my embroidery thread. I'm only using three out of the six strands so that it's a little bit thinner and that seems to be the ideal width of stitches for what I'm working on. So I'm just gonna keep going, watch some Netflix, and I'm estimating, since I think I spent about two to three hours yesterday, I think in total this will be a four-ish hour project. I wish I had timed it a little bit better, but definitely doable in one day. And here is the finished item. I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see. It's a little hard with the reflective plastic in the front of the frame. Um, I did just kind of stitch through the back and trim it and cinch it together so that it lays a little bit flat. But there is the finished Disney castle. Um, definitely not perfect by any means. I'm going to need to practice quite a bit at embroidery to get better at it, but I think this turned out really cute and definitely an easy way to add some personalized decor to your house. Um, this project in total, I really should have kept better track of it, but I believe it took somewhere between three and four hours in total, including drawing the design, um, and all I used was the satin stitch embroidery technique of just filling the space with parallel stitches. Um, there's lots of tutorials for it on YouTube, and I even had seen some on TikTok. That's where I originally learned how to do it. But yeah, that's my one day make for today and yesterday, but you know, I, I explained it at the beginning of the video. You know how it is. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to try out embroidery, I think really tiny projects are a good way to go so that you can finish in just a couple hours and practice that technique. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on other social media, that information will be in the link below. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button to be notified of all of my future videos and leave a like and a comment to tell me whatever you want to tell me or ask questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!